Hi everybody, this is Diana Bewaros. Um, I just want to talk about several things today with you and I share my thoughts because uh, every time when I'm outside, I'm observing everybody's behavior and I'm very concerned about what's going on and we want the same thing. We want people to treat us with love and respect, but uh, we are like a mirror effect. If we don't treat people with love and respect, we are not going to receive love and respect in return. So the first thing I want to talk about today is comparing yourself with other people. Please don't compare yourself with other people. Here is the reasons why. Because there is only one of you, the gifts you have, the way you perceive the world, the way you perceive yourselves, the way you perceive other people, it's completely different than the other, <clears throat> than the person next to you, the person you're so much envy and jealousy, uh, you have so much envy and jealousy towards. That's why you shouldn't do that. On the top of that, you're actually uh, building a really bad karma for yourself by trying to tear people down, by, by trying to ruin somebody, uh, using slandering, using cyber stalking, using um, so many ways to uh, bring them down. And let's face it, what, is, what good comes from this kind of behavior? Nothing. Actually, it, trig it triggers um, violence and hate towards you triggers negative energy towards you so try to find the remedy is this concentrate on yourself concentrate on the gifts given to you at birth and start developing them if you don't know how to do that there is so much many coaches online life coaches like me who can help you deal with it who know how to make you think, who know how to walk deep inside and find out what your gifts are. So you stop hurting others. Hurting others does not make you feel better, does not heal if you have a one inside you. It does not heal the traumatic experience, experience you have been through, does not do anything good. The best thing to do is to start uh, finding for yourself who you are, what are your gifts, and start finding um, a way to find out who you are as an individual. And you can always, always find out about this by asking for help, and you have no idea how many people will help you. The other thing I want to talk about this is your behavior your behavior determines how people will treat you back you need to um, you need to find uh, you, you need to behave with love you need to approach everybody with love and understanding and let's face it we live in very turbulent time and everybody responds to love everybody wants to make a connection everybody wants to tell you about what is going on in their life? Everybody wants to share with you uh, all, all, all the obstacles they're facing right now. And I have been lately meeting so many people here with what I do. And you have no idea how open they are once you ask them a question, how are you today? How is your day been? Is there something going on in your life you would like to share? And they start practically spilling all the pain they are carrying inside. They're so open to share with you their life. And if you respond with love, if you respond with understanding, that's what you're going to receive on the opposite side. And remember that you are a mirror for other people, how they're going to treat you. There is another thing I wanna talk about it. Color, our color does not make us different than the others. You can be purple, you can be green. And if you are a bad person, if you are a person who treats others with disrespect, that's what you're going to receive on the other side again. 
you're not different than the others. The color of our skin does not make us different. We are all the same. And I'm always using this example every time when the subject comes to um, the color of the skin. Can you believe if every flower outside is white or every flower outside is black or every flower outside is um, yellow? What kind of a world are we going to live this? Are you going to enjoy all the black and the white and the yellow flowers outside? No, you're not going to enjoy this. So we are made like this so we can enjoy each other and we are put through a test how we are going to treat each other. And with the treatment, the bad treatment, the separation, we are actually creating this world full of pain, full of hate, full of violence. We need to learn to accept each other the way we are brought to this world. It's very simple. I honestly don't make a difference from African American, Asian or Caucasian. I really don't. The only thing I care how these people act when you are around them. What kind of a soul they carry inside. Nothing else matter. And I'm going to ask you this question. If you Asian person or African American or Caucasian person comes to you and you love their company, you love their energy, you love who they are, you love the smile, you love everything, you feel you feel like the, their soul is amazing. Does it matter what kind of a race they belong to? I think the answer is no. So we need to, right now we need to learn how to accept each other the way we look. This comes to religion also. I know it's a very sensitive topic, but I'm going to talk about it. You need to learn to respect other people's uh, way of perceiving life. It's so important for us right now. You need to um, act, from, act from love. Just because somebody's way of perceiving of life does not make yours, it doesn't make them a, better, a bad person. Remember that this is really imperative. Just They just see the things different than you. And you shouldn't talk them into perceiving life the way you perceive life. Or you shouldn't force them, you shouldn't harass them, you shouldn't abuse them, you shouldn't do any kind of pressure. They're just different than you. And you should respect their opinion and you will learn something from it. Try to put yourself on the other side and try to understand their point of view. You, you will find it very interesting. That's actually how I act because I love to learn about other religions, other cultures, other way of life, even uh, other, what is their main dish, what they like in their country, what is the best thing about who they are, what, they, uh, what, uh, what is the best thing about their culture. You don't force yourself. You don't use force. You don't use all kinds of uh, harmful ways to make this person fit your way of perceiving life. Because this creates violence, this creates hate. And nobody responds with love with, in, in this, uh, with this kind of behavior. Remember that we are all the same. We are all humans. The earth we live on is given to us to enjoy for a short period of time. So we need to learn how to share this earth. We need to learn how to live with love on this earth. This includes love towards plants, towards animals, towards everything else. Because we right now are destroying the world. We're destroying the planet. We are destroying the animals. We're destroying everything. Just because we are on this earth doesn't give us a right 
to treat animals, to treat plants, to, to treat even each other, others with disrespect and violence. You need to learn again and again to respect others. There is some, one more point I'm going to talk about. This is about wealthy people because we have so many wealthy people on this planet. And this wealthy, just because you're wealthy, doesn't give you the right, again, to treat people with disrespect, to discard their feelings, to uh, harass them, to abuse them, and to uh, turn them into your way of thinking or to turn them to slavery. It doesn't give you any right. You're the same humans as everybody else. And I'm constantly receiving this question. If you see uh, a celebrity right now, what are you gonna do? I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna scream. I'm not gonna jump. I'm not gonna do anything like this because my way of thinking is you're the same as me. It doesn't matter how much money you have. And if you've been in the um, most selling movie in the world, you're the same as me because you're experiencing the pain just like me. You are having the same feelings just like me. You're a human just like me. Doesn't matter what your bank look like. What it benefits me. Uh, the only thing I'm interested in right now and pro se is who you are as a person. What are you doing for other people with your wealth? How you helping them? What you, how you treating the world? How are you treating the animals? How are you treating the people around us? What are you doing? What did you do today to help this world become a better place? This is what I'm interested in. So I would love for you to think about all these things and um, try to apply them in your life. And again and again, let me summarize him, uh, what we have talked today about. Comparing yourself with other people. Don't compare yourself with other people. You're not different than the others. You're human just everybody else. You don't change people. You don't force your opinion to other people. And if you want to be treated with love and compassion, and you need to treat other people like this because again, it's a mirror effect. Just because um, some racial groups are more Concentrated in one place does not give them a right to oppress others, does not give them a right to treat them with disrespect, does not give them a right uh, to, um, to harm others in any way they can. And if you go to church on Sunday, you need to um, learn there how to treat everybody with love and respect, how to change the world surrounding you, how to be a better person, how to treat your wife at home, how your behavior um, determines how you're going to raise your child at home, how um, this child is going to um, perceive life, how this child is going to uh, act in their family when they're big enough to have a family. And if the society wants a healthy family, they need to concentrate on this. Because your behavior, your talking, how you perceive others impacts the child or the children you have at home. And if you talk constantly about disrespect and if you put in other people down, that's what kind of a child you're going to raise. And that's why we have so much bullying at school. Because rich people feel like they're above others. They feel like their religion is superior over others. They feel they're the only one who deserves the good life they live in. And these kind of a ch children actually um, use this knowledge, use this behavior, use their um, way of uh, everything what they learn at home. And that's why we have so many uh, tragic events in, at school. It's so simple, it's so simple. Kids copy the behavior of the parents. What their parents tell they think is the right thing to do. What their parents tell them, they think this is the person they should be and they should treat others like this. And 
we need to start working on this. Not asking ourselves, oh, this happened, that happened. Happened because nobody look at the things they do. Nobody look at what is the main cause of what's going on in this society. Nobody is entitled to a special treatment. It doesn't matter if you are rich. It's your money. Very good you have money in the, uh, in the bank. Very good somebody help you go up because from what I'm finding out, you need to meet the right people who can push you further so you can have the, the wealthy life you have. This comes to the life coaches. This comes to the leaders, to everybody. You cannot do this by yourself. You need to have somebody who can help you. The same thing in life, if you are facing any kind of obstacle, you cannot deal by yourself. You need somebody who is not related to you. You need somebody who is completely, uh, who is a, a stranger to find out how, what you're doing wrong in your life. Not, rel not even your relatives are able to help you. That's where we are coming, to help you to find out what you're doing wrong because you're doing something wrong if you experience anxiety, stress, uh, stress, and you are worrying constantly there is a reason behind it and you cannot find out about this reason. Here's another thing. So don't force people to match your way of thinking. Don't force people to be part of your religion. Don't harass people. Um, don't try to tear people down. Uh, if you are a rich person, learn to uh, uh, treat uh, people. You're uh, the person who cooks at your house and the person who cleans your house. You need this person and you need to treat them with dignity and with love. Because without this person, you're probably not going to be able to have the money in the bank. And how you treat people determines who you are as a person. It's very simple. Very simple, that doesn't make a science to find out. Nobody, uh, uh, I don't have a diploma. It's, it's common sense. And right now in this world, we need a lot of people like this. So we can teach others. I uh, treat everybody outside, even the people who are, we have a lot of people who come to our recycling bin and pick up all the plastic bottles we drink from. And we need these people, actually. And we need to treat them with respect and love because they're humans just like us. They belong to the human race. And if you read my book, The Light Within, which I just sold to a family from Dubai because they want it, I'm going to order some more of these books. They loved my book. And if you go on Amazon and buy my book, you'll be able to find out what I'm talking about. And um, I feel that we lack a lot of love for ourselves and for others. Without loving yourself, you cannot love others. You need to have so much love inside so you can give it. But if you don't love yourself, and if you operate from hate, from violence, from separation from others, if you hurt others, you cannot do, change the world. You cannot have the life you always wanted. You are basically becoming a negative person. Or everything what you're meeting, it's negative. You perceive life negatively. You separate yourself from the others. And if you go to church and uh, all the people around you uh, are negative, all people are talking about other people because they're different than them or they have different religion you basically becoming part of this circle of negativity and how we can change the world we cannot do that if you go to church and you can practice any kind of religion that works for you but every religion should include love and compassion towards others because god is love God wants you to be happy. God wants you to be who you want to be. God doesn't want you to oppress. So as Muslims, so as Buddhists, and everybody else, as well as treat women as equals. And give them the permission to voice their opinion, to be who they are. 
to educate yourself. And that's what we were talking with these people from Saudi Arabia. And I have had so many people from Saudi Arabia. And I had women who are so excited because finally, after so many years, they are allowed to drive car. So we need to start to take a look deep inside and bring the love we carry inside outside for us to be able to change the world. And the way to support me is to comment down, leave you email, tell me your questions, and I'm more than happy to email it to you with all my answers. So buy my book. Um, the book, The Journey of Transformation, is available for free to download. The only thing you need to do is go to my website, theannabellores.com, download it, for, um, enter your email, and download it for free. So these are the several things I want to talk about it. If you feel like somebody is treating you bad, if you feel like somebody doesn't have the behavior they should have towards you, try to talk to them, see what can be, what is the problem. And if you feel like you're lost, if you feel like there is something wrong in your life you cannot deal with and you cannot find answers, please email me. Leave me a comment, leave your email, leave your phone number, and I'm going to contact you, have one hour free consultation. Or you can enroll in my classes. All of my classes on my, are on my website, theannabellorals.com. The purpose of my life is to help you to make this world a better place, to make sure that people from different races, different religions, know how to live together in peace and how to collaborate and how to accept each other and how to get rid of, of cyberbullying, um, these um, targeted individuals, why we are targeting people, why we are doing that. These are the people who see the things the way they are. These are the people who should be given the permission to help transform this world. We have targeted individuals. This is another topic. We targeting people just because they don't match our way of perceiving life, just because they tell what is go what kind of a darkness is going on in the society, how we don't even pay attention to constitution. It it goes and on and on and on. We have occults who practice black magic to turn people, to kill people, to cause them pain, to cause them so many obstacles. We have these occults actually blocking these targeted individuals from having the life they try to kill. Why are you trying to kill people? Why are you doing that? Why is um, the government allowing that? Why is the society allowing that? Because we are more than a government. We can do something about it. Why we are targeting people? Why we are inflicting pain? We have freedom of speech in this country, and this freedom of speech is something everybody should have right to exercise. They should have right to opinion. So don't target people, don't discriminate them. If you belong to a special group of people from the same race, doesn't give you a right to hate others, to suppress who they are to harass them, to uh, cause pain, to call, uh, like, you're not going to church to make, uh, uh, together with uh, same people from the same race, to find a plan to hurt somebody who wants to make a difference. You are not superior than anybody else. Not Asian group is superior, not the Catholics are superior, not the Buddhists are superior, not the Christians are superior, not the Orthodox are superior. Nobody is superior over anybody. Simple as it is. You don't label people bad people because they are Muslims. You don't, because not everybody of the Muslims, like we have Caucasian criminals and uh, there is Asian criminals and gangsters, they're uh, Muslim uh, criminals and gangsters, and the list goes on and on and on. We don't label people. If we want to change the world, we need to start looking deep into these issues. So we'll be able to transform, transform the world. 
if there is if this is something you would like to do and remember every step counts every step counts how you can help me by doing something by do, uh, talking to people by buying my books by spreading what i'm teaching you i'm teaching you to be uh, understanding to be kind to be compassionate to help others to to help change the world this is what you want right we, we don't have any love in this world we don't have love for ourselves we don't have love for other people we don't have love for the animals we don't have love for uh, where we live it's constant competition i'm gonna show you because i'm this uh, belong to this group of people and uh, the other persons, uh, the other group of people say, okay, I'm going to show you too, you know, and it's constant reaction and action. It's the physics, Reac action and reaction, right? So think about it. Think about these things. Let me know down here. I'll go on my website, theannabelleros.com, write your comments. Don't slander people, don't listen to people what they say, or don't approve bad behaviors, even when it comes to cyberbullying. Because I don't have to tell you that this cyberbullying, this kind of behavior is made from people who don't, don't love themselves, they don't have integrity. So the only way for them to feel good for themselves is to harm others and to destroy other people's love. Is this something that uh, they're teaching you in the church? I don't think so. And this is not God. We all know that. And I don't approve uh, worshiping the devil. I'm sorry. We have freedom of religion here, but worshiping the devil uh, sends a really bad message and creates a really bad world. And we all know about that. So try, start to accept others, Stop listening what's going on online because this is not something we can control. Um, try to find out about people who are being bullied severely online by uh, seeing them in person, learning about them, and don't get caught in the net of negativity, of slandering, all kinds of way of hate and violence. So thank you so much for being with me and I will try to be again next Tuesday or at the end of the week. And you can um, find out more about me on my website, theannabelleros.com. Until next time, love and light to everybody.